Hey everyone, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. Here we like to talk about sex and relationships and there's been a video idea on my video ideas list for so long and then I kind of was like, now is the perfect time to make this video. And that is, as you can see from the title, long distance date ideas. I've done a few other videos of various date ideas, like free dates, dates that you can do at home, although that video is probably more for the couples who are self-isolating together. And then also London date ideas, not applicable right now, stay inside. So in this video, we're tackling long distance dates. So you might already be in a long distance relationship and so this will help you or you are currently dating someone and you're having to self isolate so you can't go on outdoor dates anymore and you can't see each other in person but you want to continue talking with each other and like having a good time and doing interesting things together or in some cases you might be single and still using dating apps. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to my friend Frankie's article recently about how people are using dating apps differently during this time. Because even though you can't then go and meet up with the people that you are swiping right to and having conversations with, people are still using dating apps. They're just using them in a different way. And I think that kind of stuff is really interesting. I think when there's like no expectation that you're going to meet up in person, it's allowing for people to have much more in depth or interesting conversations in the apps. Who knows? I'd be interested to know if you're single and still using dating apps in isolation and if you feel like there's a different vibe and people are using it differently, I'd be interested to hear that. But yes, this video is long distance date ideas. That being said, a lot of these things you can do with your friends and your family who you are also not living with. This is not specific to romantic or sexual partners. At least one of them is. But the rest really are just fun activities that you can do with someone when you're not physically in the same space. So let's dive in. Number one, play online games. Come on, it's a simple solution to all of our problems, video games. <laughs> this one thing can be so many things. There are so many different kinds of games out there. So do you want to play a competitive game against each other? Do you want to be cooperative? Do you want nice and easy, accessible games that are just like fun mobile phone games that you play with each other? Or do you want like serious sit down PC gaming? Or are you a console? The possibilities are endless in terms of the games that you can play together. Obviously a lot of the games that you can play online together may not actually involve speaking to each other. So I would highly recommend downloading Discord. And if you're on a PC, then you can use that to speak to each other and hear each other verbally whilst you're playing a game together. Or likewise, if you're like on your phone or if you're playing on a console, maybe having your phone on FaceTime or a video call so that you are still communicating whilst playing a game together. I think that's the main important thing. It's not just about the game, it's about like interacting with the person whilst you're playing the game. Otherwise you might as well just be playing with a random person online if you're not actually going to do an audio or video call with your person. Some games that Dan and I have really enjoyed playing together that you would be able to do remotely are Jackbox games. So you can set it up on one person's computer and then do like a Google Hangout or a Zoom call and then they share their screen with you. Portal 2 is a really great cooperative game for two people. Just make sure that you are talking to each other whilst you play that game because communication is necessary to solve the puzzles. You can't just be going about it by yourself. And then similarly, similarly, Divinity Original Sin 2 is an amazing role play game. Is that what it's called? RPG? Does that sound for role play game? I don't know. Which is cooperative and the world is amazing and you go exploring and you definitely need to be communicating together to play that together because you're a team, teamwork. Or, you know, you could play some competitive games and try and 
murder each other in video game form. Great. Number two. I believe that I mentioned this one in the date ideas from home video, but I want to mention it again because I've got a few twists on it as well. So it's the book club idea. Read a book together and then organize a time to have a video call to discuss said book. You could even take it one step further and read the book to each other whilst on a call, which could be cute. But the twist to this is that it doesn't necessarily have to be a book club. The mindset that I want you to get into is consuming the same things together and discussing them. So it might be a book that you want to discuss, or it might be that you have read an article or listened to a podcast episode that you're like, oh my God, I want you to read this, let me know what you think. But rather than doing the, let me know what you think via text and they go, oh yeah, I thought X, Y, and Z. Actually be like, hey, there's this article or there's this podcast thing. Consume this, I wanna know your thoughts. Let's have a call at this time and we can chat about it. So being really intentional with the calls that you have. Obviously, sometimes you're just gonna want to call them just to see their face, hear their voice, and be doing nothing on the call together. But that can get boring after a while and it might be a case that you struggle to come up with things to talk about. So it is about being really proactive in being like, hey, let's discuss this thing together. In the same way that that would have happened if you were in real life together and in person together. Number three is, of course, Netflix parties. Netflix party is a Chrome extension that you can install, which allows you to connect with other people and then hit play at the same time. And then you have a little chat box so you can talk away to each other whilst your movies are playing simultaneously. So you might wanna do that for movies, for TV. Of course, you don't necessarily have to use the Netflix party app. You might actually want to be on the phone to them and have them in your ears or like on Skype or whatever it is whilst you're watching literally anything. Any streaming service will do. Disney Plus has just come out. Once again, the possibilities are endless. But if you are gonna watch something together, I think it's a really good idea to either have an audio or a video call or a chat box, like whatever it is, just to make sure that you're not just separately watching something. It is a communal experience. It does feel like a date. Number four. This could have gone into online games, but I asked my patrons in the common room discord if they had any good ideas for long distance dates and this came up and I've actually played this before and it's, it's a lot of fun and it is Wiki Wars. There are a few different ways that you can play this game. So in order to play Wiki Wars, you need to be on the phone together at the same time, either video or just audio. And the way that the person in the common room described how they play this game is that you both start on the same Wikipedia page and then you pick another Wikipedia page and it's the first person just from using links within the article to get from A to B. Now there are different ways of judging this. Is it the fastest in terms of how long it takes you in time? Or is it the fastest in terms of how many clicks it takes you to get from A to B? So there are different judging criteria. You can pick it yourself. The way that I've played this before is maybe a bit more controversial, which is that the players all at the same time hit random page so you're then taken to a random Wikipedia page and it is the fastest or the least amount of clicks to get to the wiki page for Adolf Hitler. There's so much fun that you can have with Wikipedia. I would recommend looking up all of the different games that you can play with Wikipedia. Number five, this is for people who are music lovers. Maybe music is a really big part of your relationship. If you haven't already, now is a really good time to create a joint playlist. You can create private playlists on Spotify. I have no idea how Apple Music or Amazon Music works, so I'm just gonna talk about Spotify. You can create a private playlist that you both have access to and you can both add songs to it and you can listen to it at the same time if you would like to be, you know, listening to the same music together. Another feature that Spotify has is called a group session and this is 
intended to be used when you're having an actual physical house party. So there's one output speaker, so you can't have two people listening to it at the same time, but there's just like one output, but multiple people have control over what is coming out of the speaker. This could be fun just to control what your partner listens to. If they're like, oh, I've got some work I need to be doing, or I'm gonna be doing some exercise, or I'm going to be doing some cooking, will you control what I listen to? So maybe in this case, you're not on the phone to each other. You're not actually um, speaking verbally to each other, but you give the other person permission to control the music you listen to. And I really like this because they can then send you like subliminal messages, like through the music and the lyrics that they pick. And so that could be a really fun thing. You can't do it to each other at the same time though, I believe, I don't think, that is entirely possible. Um, but you could take it in turns to basically control what the other person listens to when they're just chilling out. Send them secret messages and codes. <laughs> Number six. So this is the one that is reserved for romantic and sexual partners. And that is, yeah, you guessed it, cyber sex. Do people still say cyber sex? I don't even know. Sexting, Skype sex phone sex, whatever you want to do digitally and getting horny. Obviously with this one, there is the caveat of being aware of safety and trust. And there are laws in the UK about sexting and minors and minors counts as under 18. I'll leave some links in the description to some comprehensive information about sexting and the law so you can make the best informed decision. No judgment here on like what you wanna do, but obviously there are risks attached to it, but it can be a really amazing way to still feel sexually connected to your partner, um, to get hot and horny together whilst being physically apart. It's also a really great way to get to know each other sexually, to get to know yourself sexually. And if you're having Skype or phone sex with your partner, there's no chance of pregnancy or STIs. That's a pretty damn good thing. <laughs> also, there's some really great sex tech out there that may help with long distance relationships. Have a look at some app controlled toys such as Mystery Vibe and Vibbies. You're welcome. Number seven is cooking together. Oh, I love cooking together. You can cook together over video calls. You can eat dinner together over video calls. You could even do a thing where you buy the same ingredients and you try and cook the same meal together, that would be super cute. Bonus points if you do that. <laughs> Number eight, again, this is one that I've mentioned before, but I just want to reiterate it because I love it so much, and that's karaoke night. Get some tunes up on YouTube, put your video call on, and have a few drinks and have a good time. That's all. Number nine is take online personality tests, relationship quizzes together, do all of the things that are basically in the Who Am I series and more. So my Who Am I series is the personality test series and I'm currently releasing episodes of Who Am I in Bed, which is more of the relationship and sex style, getting to know yourself and each other quizzes. Be on a video or a phone call together whilst you're doing these quizzes and discussing your answers together. You could also do stuff like the New York Times questions to fall in love, but basically there are so many fun quizzes out there. And then there are also so many like serious quizzes out there and you can take your pick from the lot. So those are some long distance date ideas. Let me know in the comments if you have any other ideas yourself that you want to throw into the mix. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe because I make new videos every week. Bye.